So hey guys, I'm back with another video for today and this time I'm going to do a housing tour. I know as a military spouse, we often like to do a lot of research on the area and especially on the housing that they offer on base. And that was one of the main issues that I ran into when I was looking at Fort Belvoir. There were a lot of housing tours of the older housing that we were um, actually offered. We live in Gerber Village, which is a housing that was built back in 1936 and it's for enlisted soldiers ranking from E6 all the way to E8. If I'm not mistaken, I'll put all the details in the description box, but I figured I'll go ahead and show y'all my furnished house tour and hopefully you um, enjoy it. So I'm standing at the back of the house right now and as you can see, this is the back porch. And we're gonna go inside. And when you walk into the door, you have this nice little hallway area. Don't mind guys, I told you you've been living here for about a year, so it is definitely lived in. So just excuse whatever mess that you might see. Um, but when you come into the door, to your right, there's a bathroom, a little half bath for your guests. And then over here to the right, we have a basement, which not all houses on Fort Belvoir have basements, but Gerber Village is one of the housing development here that has one. As you can see, we keep all our junk down here that we do not need upstairs. And my washing and dryer is here, which can be a hassle sometimes. Right outside of the basement is a, a little closet, which also houses a lot of junk for me. <laughs> but it's like a coat closet. And then over here is my kitchen, which has a lot of counter space and cabinets and as you can see i'm cooking yep this is the kitchen nice and bright and when you come over here you see my little beautiful art wall that houses all the pictures that my kids have made for me but they have a little computer nook that's what they call this and this is where i keep my computer my little office space stuff for the kids and then right here is our dining area if you don't know now you know my husband loves fish so we have two giant fish tanks and we also have a lot of plants and stuff in there but to the side of the dining room is the living room and as you can see it's a pretty good sized living room and it has a fireplace now again the other housing developments don't have fireplaces like gerber village but this one does and it's catty corner because i live in a duplex so i have a shared neighbor that shares that wall space on that side leading up towards the stairs but this is the living room it can hold this sectional excuse my husband's mess and of course there's another fish tank <laughs> and over here is the leading to the front of the house we have like a little front mudroom which i have not decorated and it still has a box that needs to go in the dumpster but yeah this is supposed to be the mudroom another little closet right there and that door leads to the front of the house you have the stairs that leads you up to the top floor and right to your right is the master bedroom which is also a pretty decent size we have our bed against the against this wall. But yeah, it's a nice size. And as you can see, it's a nice size, messy closet. <laughs> let me close that door. But yeah, it's a messy closet. Might as well let y'all see. It's so big though, that I can sit this dresser right here inside the closet and still have space for all the clothes and junk. I really need to clean that up. But yeah, this is the room. Have a nice little bathroom hey it's nice and big in there i also have a guest bathroom i'm not gonna take y'all in there because you're gonna need some cleaning and then right here is another hallway that leads to a very small room <laughs> this is our guest room which has a futon in it let me turn the light off so i can see it has a futon in it right now it's just my husband's type man cave situation so right here in the back room is another bigger room 
which you can see is my kids room and yeah they have destroyed that blind guys my daughter sleeps up against that window and that's what happened with that but hmm, there's a lot of space in here i was really concerned at first about both of their beds fitting in here but they really do fit real nice and they still have room for their toys and stuff and guys i know i don't know why this huge tv is in here but my husband it's all on him they have a small, all right size closet i'll later put some things in there to have more of the toys and clothes and such and in the hallway we have two other closets but i'm not going to open up because it's like a disaster but well i'll open up one of them once again, I'm hiding a whole bunch of mess behind the closets. There's a lot of space in here, which is great because we tend to have a lot of things. So yeah, guys, that's the tour of my house. Hopefully I wasn't breathing too hard. You know, your girl be feeling winded walking around sometimes. Pregnancy problems, huh? But anyway, yes, I live in Gerber Village. It's a duplex, so I have a shared wall right behind those stairs. It's a neighbor on the other side. The house looks exactly the same as mine. So if you move into the Fort Belvoir, area and you have been offered Gerber Village, a three bedroom house with a duplex. This is how the inside of the house looks. So yeah, till next time guys. See you later. Peace.